Hello everyone, Cup here and welcome back to some more Machabellum. I had a giant specialist match where I kind of realized that giant specialist is really strong but also can be kind of awkward. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm starting with giant specialist, arc lights and phoenix. And my opponent has crawlers and phoenix. And I feel like I'm forgetting to check their starting SPC again. I'm once again facing Time for Miracle, by the way. Faced them before in one of the other videos. Really cool guy. Also streaming live on Twitch if you want to check them out. And I am adding some crawlers behind the towers. This is basically my standard setup for starting with Arclights and Phoenix. I add two crawlers, put them behind the tower and position everything like this. Pretty standard, nothing nothing spectacular, but also really effective. So crawlers behind the tower is obviously good. And my phoenixes are positioned behind my arc lights, so the arc lights can trash clear and then the phoenixes can deal damage to whatever, in this case the opponent's phoenixes. And also I positioned the phoenixes vertically, so they are less likely to shoot that same target. Because phoenixes deal a lot of damage and they one shot everything at the moment so I don't want to waste any phoenix shots. My opponent went for some fangs in the front and now I'm checking actually because I realized hey wait the units look pretty fast and yeah my opponent is speed specialist. I am winning on the right side, losing on the left. Once again, still not sure. I feel like the boards are were symmetrical on both sides. So I don't know how I win on the right but lose on the left. But I feel like it happens so much that with everything symmetrical, one side wins and the other side loses. So yeah, round one was fine. Subsidized arc lights looking kind of neat, but at the same time I'm giant specialist, so there's also senior manufacturing specialist, so I can get giants for cheaper. That being said, it's round two, and round two I like to skip usually, but at the same time I'm picking senior manufacturing specialist here because I want to try something. So. Kind of the problem is now and also was from the beginning. My opponent already had phoenixes. Phoenixes are pretty good against giants. And now that I also picked up senior manufacturing specialist, my opponent will know starting next turn that I picked that and so they know, okay, they are going for giants. And now my opponent can right away build anti-giants basically. So this is what is awkward about Giant Specialist and especially when you also go even deeper with Senior Manufacturing Specialist. You just telegraph your intentions so obviously to your opponent that they then can already start building against you even before you start building Giants yourself. So yeah, that is what I mean by Giant Specialist can be kind of awkward. And my opponent already adding more phoenixes. And now they also know that I picked senior manufacturing, so next turn the answers might be even stronger tailored towards giants. Anyways, um, I saved some money. I only added one pack of crawlers in the back for additional chaff distraction. And I kind of wanted to see what they were doing this turn, but also wanted to save up some money so I can buy double giants next turn to kind of get a little bit of a surprise. Because as I said, my opponent pretty much already expecting giants, but if I get two giants in one turn, it might be enough to kind of overwhelm them. Even if they are expecting giants, so that's why I did it like this and I'm going for two Vulcans and I also picked up an Amplifying Core. So the left Vulcan now a lot tankier. 
and I put it on the left because there are level 2 phoenixes potentially. So I want that one to be tankier and be able to withhold, uh, withstand some more damage. Let's see how this goes. And yeah, my opponent adding more phoenixes. This turn they already know I picked senior manufacturing, so they know giants are coming. And they just, yeah, <laughs> start building answers to giants. However, I have two Vulcans already, so yeah, and the one with the amplifying core, so it's still not that easy for the phoenixes to get through. Plus I built a little bit of chaff, which can tank some hits. And I also have phoenixes, so my phoenixes are good against the arc lights and my opponent's phoenixes as well. And in this case, my Vulcans are tanking a couple of shots and my few phoenixes behind can then take care of the enemy units. So this was good enough. Even though my opponent already has so many phoenixes, it was enough to withhold, or with, why do I keep saying withhold? To withstand enough damage for long enough so that my phoenixes in the back would then take out everything. Picking up tank production line, I, I just really like that item. It's not ideal here because my opponent has so many phoenixes and phoenixes are good against tanks. However, every 13 seconds, two tanks is just so good. I, I really like that. I pretty much pick it up every time I have giants or I'm planning to go for giants. Even in this case where it's not ideal, but I think it's still good. Getting range on my phoenixes. Making sure I can win the phoenix fight even with less phoenixes. And phoenixes are really crucial here for me. As you could see last turn. So I'm adding another pack of phoenixes. Hoping that again my Vulcans and maybe also the tanks from tanks produ uh, tank production line can tank for long enough that my phoenixes can take out the enemy units. And I'm putting one pack of fangs in the front there just to kind of bait the opponent's units towards the middle and then clump up a little bit more so my Vulcans are better at taking out the chaff quickly. And range on my phoenixes was actually important here. On the left, the phoenixes would have uh, flown. Is that a word? They would fly too far in the front so that they would have get taken out right away by the phoenix on the left. But they didn't. However, I still lost the left side. But I won the right. So I'm assuming tank production line was the difference there. I didn't really watch. But also, actually, I had one more pack of phoenixes on the right, so that's probably why. But still, my opponent with also two Vulcans now also able to take care of my chaff pretty quickly and also has some tanky units. So it's kind of a mirror right now. Heavy armor, also a really good item for a Vulcan. Laser side, a really good item for phoenixes. Just the range advantage in a phoenix versus phoenix, phoenix matchup is really good. And I'm unlocking melting points. I can unlock them for free since I'm a giant specialist and I have 700 credits. Would be enough to buy two melting points right away because of senior manufacturing specialist. However, I'm actually deciding to go for a fortress here. Fortress also really good against Vulcans, but also I'm considering getting the anti-air missiles because of the phoenixes. So I'm, I haven't tried this that much, but I think if not this match, then when? Because I'm giant specialist and I have senior manufacturing, so 
I could spam fortresses with the anti-air missiles potentially. Single-handedly with fortresses I could counter Vulcans and Phoenixes. So this could be really really good. And yeah I'm actually already getting the anti-air barrage on the fortress so I didn't buy a second fortress just yet. I think I also kind of wanted to see what my opponent was doing this turn before I committed even harder into fortresses. I'm not sure. Might have been better to just get a second fortress right away. But at the same time there are so many phoenixes and I really need to deal with the phoenixes. Because they are pretty quick, relatively quick at taking out my giants. And it's quite close here. Some was flank coming in, taking out my tower. And I lost on the right, kind of close. But yeah, a couple of phoenixes left. And my fortress still slowed from tower debuff, I think. So the anti-air missiles on the fortress, I feel like only really kick in if you have like two or three fortresses. Because they miss quite a lot, but if you have enough, they just, they will hit because there are so many. So at this point I'm thinking, okay, I might just spam fortresses. Also my opponent was right and left with uh, shields as well. So I need some more anti-air. However, yeah, I'm, I'm actually deciding to go for some Mustangs instead. Fortresses with the anti-missile, anti-air missile shoot quite, kind of slowly. So I want some quick damage, quick small damage to take care of the wasps in particular. So yeah, I, I thought maybe just two packs of Mustangs would be good here. And with the range upgrade is kind of needed against uh, the opponent here because of the Vulcans. So they stay out of arm's way. They are far enough away to not get just burned to a crisp by the Vulcans. And my opponent moved the wasps back so and added more wasps. So there are four packs of wasps now in the back. My Mustangs are still fine though, doesn't really matter that I positioned them there. They still come in now and actually start shooting the boss. The anti-air missiles on the fortress actually missing quite a lot of the phoenixes, especially the very first barrage when the phoenixes are still moving in. They kind of dodge all of the missiles because they are still moving. But I feel like it's kind of looking better already. I'm still losing this turn, but it's starting to look better. The Mustangs definitely help with the wasps. And Vulcan also, I think, almost dead. But yeah, this uh, is kind of a deciding turn. If I lose this this round, I'm probably dead. So let's not lose. And I'm getting the barrier upgrade on the fortresses as well as two more fortresses. So now I have four fortresses with the anti-air missiles. And I think this is kind of an amount that is quite likely to hit a lot of air units. So this is getting to a critical mass, kind of. Getting temporary buffs, range and speed, also took a credit and got another pack of Mustangs. Because of all the wasps, definitely need as much anti-air as I can get. By the way, I'm experimenting with the tech loadout on Mustangs and I did not bring the anti-air upgrade on the Mustangs. That's why 
I'm not picking it up here. I just don't have it. We would have been good here, obviously, against the wasps and phoenixes. And opponent going for even more wasps. They are trying to overwhelm me here for the final turn, potentially. And also got the incendiary bombs on the Vulcans. Trying to take out my Mustangs, I guess. But they are kind of in the back and also partially protected by shields. Mustangs and anti-air missiles doing a lot of work though. All the wasps are dead and the fortresses can finally also focus on the Vulcans, taking out the Vulcans as well. And just a couple of phoenixes left. Not enough damage to quickly take out my rest of the giants. With mustangs and phoenixes behind. So I did reach the critical mass here. And that's a lot of damage. Not quite dead yet. We are both really low now though. So this is probably the last turn. Again, taking a credit and getting the two temporary buffs for range and speed. Getting two more packs of Mustangs. Mustangs just very crucial here to quickly take out the wasps. And I still have some credits left and I'm considering punching. You know what time it is. It is punching time. Because I love punches on fortresses. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's necessary here. Um, air is definitely my problem but at the same time I'm not sure what my opponent is doing this turn. Maybe they are going for melting points or something to deal with my fortresses. And punches definitely would help. So I'm thinking I have enough Mustangs now and anti-air missiles that air should not be the problem anymore. Obviously it's still a problem because it's a lot. But what might kill me are like melting points or something. So punches are preemptively here good in my opinion. But my opponent just went for more air I think and more upgrades. And here we go. Fortress anti-air missiles pretty much all missing the first uh, barrage. Mustangs need to do some work here on the wasps. Punches coming in. Getting the Vulcans really low but not killing them. Definitely upgraded the phoenixes here because they pretty much popped my giants right away. And this is super super close. I just have a couple of Mustangs left and like four Phoenixes. And this is just enough damage. GG's. <laughs> so this was uh, very close. The last turn was definitely less clean than the one before. I think my opponent just upgraded some Phoenixes. And then they dealt enough damage to take out my fortresses a lot quicker than before. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.